with Nicola and when Jamal when he gets healthy. But how did it feel tonight to, to be the primary, have the offense flow through you, um, and obviously the preseason opener? Yeah, I mean, it was just good to go out there, get a rhythm, um, play with the guys. You know, they found me. I got pretty easy shots. So it was just good to go out there, make a few shots, and get a rhythm. It seemed like you had, like, pretty significant chemistry with AG. Um, you know, he found you a couple times. Like, you know, where, where is that relationship in terms of a basketball pairing uh, with you and Aaron? Yeah, well, we, uh, we're we pretty close off the court, so I think that directly correlates to on the court. And also, we, we've gotten to uh, play together – this whole training camp. So um, I don't think when we, yeah, we, we won most times together. We just developed a pretty good chemistry. We know where each other wants the ball, things like that. Do you like him in a playmaking, in, in more of a playmaking role? Because he was handling it in transition, handling half court. No doubt. I think that's big for him. We got a lot of guys, me, him, Nicola, you know, guys that can all get it off the glass, go while the guards might just get to the corner. We get easy corner threes that way. So I really like Aaron Push being aggressive in transition. Like you said, you got easy baskets tonight. Is that the type of offense that you want to find in terms of your scoring? Are those the types of shots that we can expect to see from you moving forward? Um, I mean, I think it'll it'll vary night to night when teams adjust to guarding me. But luckily, you know, I feel like I can score in a variety of ways. So if I'm not getting it one way, it might be hard and I might have to get it in another way. Um, rebounding, offensive rebounding, you know, but tonight it was pretty, pretty easy open up shots. So. What, <laughs> just gonna ask, what have you thought of Bones so far? I mean, he's had a great training camp and then what we saw from him tonight. Man, Bones is sick. Like we were all kind of just like, man, that dude can really, really, really play. Like he's one of the quickest guys I've seen. Um, he just, he, he carries himself like he's been here before. Like he doesn't, he doesn't care about who he's, up against, he believes in himself. And that's all you need. <clears throat> I remember coming in as a rookie, I thought the same thing. I thought I was better than everybody <laughs> else. Like, and I think that that, even as a rookie, that level of confidence that he has is rare. And it'll it'll carry him a long way, just the amount of confidence he has. When you were working against some of the switches tonight, what did you think of the matchups you were getting? It seemed like you were getting bigs on you a lot of the time. You were able to take them off the dribble a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I think for me, an emphasis definitely is like being more analytical on who's guarding me, figuring out where I can beat that person. I think guys that are bigger, you know, getting those switching, those fives on me, I don't think that's where I feel more comfortable on the perimeter, just dribbling or getting to a spot, shooting, driving to the basket, whatever it may be. Then when they put like a, a smaller guy on me, that's what I spent a lot of the time this summer doing in the mid post, it's just not overthinking. Like a lot of those smaller, stockier, fast dudes, you don't really want to dance with them on the perimeter. They just use your height advantage and get lower position and jump over and shoot over them. But I think that moving forward, like realizing that and then going to that will make me a more uh, multi-dimensional player. So that'd be good. Mike, to follow up on that, um, with all the off season work that you did, what do you think was most evident or apparent uh, in tonight's game, be it the handle, uh, be it strength, anything in that vein? Shoot, I don't know what was most apparent because I just go out there and play. Um, I think that you guys probably would know that better than me because you guys, you know, watch the games. And But, I, you know, I just feel like every year just trying to make a jump in some way and just get better and better year by year. It's something that I've really tried to do. It's something I think I've done a pretty good job of since I – rehab from that back injury came that first year. So this year is no different. You know, I want to be better, um, more diverse, more versatile than I was last year. Go ahead, Derek. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Michael, congratulations on the good game. And uh, Bull said earlier tonight he felt good about working hard and playing hard. And you spoke before about him needing kind of a mentality change. Do you, do you see that kind of manifesting itself tonight in his game? No doubt. We all were just so proud of Bull, even tonight going from training camp to here because he he carried the same energy. I think he had four or five blocks. And I told, told him, like, man, you're so gifted offensively, but if you do that little stuff, rebound, block shots, you're going to get a chance to play the game offensively because you're going to be in the game and you're going to get a chance to shoot tough shots, play your game. But he was getting rebounds, easy dunks, things like that. Um, like, he just played, like, he just really just – it's starting to connect the dots. So he seems like his head is in a good place. So I'm really proud of him.
Correct. How did you feel like you did defensively tonight? How comfortable were you on that side of the ball? I mean, I don't know. This this is the first game. I think uh like I, I really I mean it's continue to get better, continue to be more alert. But I think um yeah, all in all, you know, the goal is to be better in every uh asset of the of the game. So, you know, yeah. Everyone good? Yeah. Cool. Thank, Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Go vaccine question.